What's up, Thenix athletes? It's Chris Harrio. Welcome to another Thenix video. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through a 20 minute full body workout that anyone can do to build the ultimate physique. With this 20 minute workout, we're gonna build our endurance and tear more muscle fibers, allowing us to build more muscle by increasing the time under tension and by decreasing the rest time, developing you to become a better athlete and allowing you to save more time for your day. Now I've designed this workout to effectively overload every single muscle in the body by compounding exercises with the same muscle groups and supporting muscle groups. This is gonna ensure that we're gonna build muscle by tearing the most muscle fibers. I've also strategically organized the muscle groups so that you don't completely gas yourself out at the beginning of the routine, allowing you to keep your pace all the way to the end of the routine while still being able to give 100% to every muscle. And a lot of the exercises we'll be using today are gonna to be compound exercises, which are gonna have you burn way more calories because they recruit more muscles for an exercise. So doing this routine is gonna have you build muscle while simultaneously burning fat and getting shredded. And all you're gonna need is two chairs, a set of dumbbells, or anything you can find around your house to carry, and preferably a lower elevated surface. So if you're ready to get in the best shape of your life using these basic things that pretty much anyone can find around their house, then make sure you downloaded the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store so that you can get this workout routine on your phone and properly follow along. Once you've downloaded the Thenix app, open up to the YouTube workout section and you should find this routine and you're ready to go. If you're having trouble finding this routine, you can always use the search bar at the top to find this workout or any of our previous YouTube workouts. Now with today's workout routine, we're gonna do every exercise for 40 seconds with a 20 second break in between. This routine is gonna be perfect for a beginner or advanced athlete. I'm gonna be giving a progression or alternate exercise for every exercise that someone may not be able to do. Now if you're a beginner, you can try starting off by doing 30 seconds for each exercise with a 30 second break in between. Every Everyone else, I want you going for a full 40 seconds. You actually tear the most amount of muscle fibers and build the most amount of muscle with slow and controlled, perfect repetitions, not by how many reps you're doing. So don't rush any of these reps. I want you to do each one slow, controlled, and with perfect form. Before we get started, you should always do the warm up at the beginning of the routine in the Thenix app. But if you're warmed up and ready to go, we're gonna start off with the first muscle group, our back with body rows. So we're gonna start off using our chairs, come down to a seated position. You wanna bend at your knees, keep your back straight, and engaged, pull all the way up, back down. 40 seconds, slow and controlled. If doing body rows consecutively are too challenging, try pacing yourself and spreading out the reps. Doing one rep as perfect as you can every couple seconds. The more you do this, you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna be able to go for more repetitions consecutively until you're doing a full 40 seconds without stopping. Make sure you're retracting your scapulas the whole entire time. The strength acquired from doing body rows will directly translate to pull-ups, building muscle and strength, and eventually being able to do pull-ups. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Great warm-up exercise. We're able to use a lot of energy for a big muscle group, which is our back. The next exercise we're gonna get into for our back and our hamstrings is gonna be dumbbell deadlifts. All right, so I've got my dumbbells. We're gonna come down. To the shin level, from right back up. Focusing on doing each rep as perfect as possible. Squeezing. Regulate your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. I'm trying to squeeze every muscle in my body. Last couple seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right. Quickly moving on to the next exercise and next muscle group is gonna be biceps, which is a supporting muscle group and engaged when doing a lot of back exercises. And a lot of times when working your biceps, you're supporting with your back muscles. Like with the exercise coming up right now, bicep plus hammer curl. So you wanna keep your scapulas back, retracted. We're gonna come up with a curl, come down, come up with a hammer. Slow, controlled, perfect form. Halfway there. By using these two grips and positions, we're engaging both heads of our biceps. Last couple seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. 
Moving on to the next exercise, rear delt flies, which is gonna engage our shoulders, specifically our rear delts, and still supporting with our back muscles, which is allowing us to continue to overload on our back. So let's get right into rear delt flies, feet shoulder width apart, core tight, retracting your scapulas, and right down to the shins, spread apart, come together, slow and controlled. Here we go, last couple reps. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, moving on to the next exercise for elevated pike push-ups, finishing off the rest of the heads in our shoulder, our medial and frontal delts. Now, if doing pike push-ups with your feet elevated is too difficult, you can always do them, just normal pike push-ups on the ground. So let's get into position. Walk all the way up from a push-up. Feet straight, core tight, come all the way down. Squeeze your core, squeeze the grip on the ground, keep your feet straight. Try to make every single rep as clean, perfect, and controlled as possible. Almost there. Last couple seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're flying through this routine. The next exercise, we're gonna start getting into our chest with burpees, but really this is a full body exercise that's gonna burn fat and build muscle throughout your entire body. For everyone else, choose a progression that's gonna challenge you, but allow you to complete 40 seconds with perfect form. Let's go for it. Remember to pace yourself. If you feel fatigued, you can always slow down. But whatever you do, don't stop. Save the stop for the break. We're almost there. Last couple seconds, here we go. Three, two, and one. There we have it. Now the next exercise for our chest is gonna be push-ups side to side. If you have difficulty doing push-ups, you can always do this exercise on an elevated surface, or you can do it on your knees on the ground. You can also try to just go through the motion without actually doing a push-up. So if you're ready, let's get down, choose a progression, and pace yourself. And if you're feeling fatigued, remember, you can always slow down Really feel and squeeze each contraction and give quality to every single rep. It's not about how many you're doing, it's about how perfect you're doing them. That's what's gonna tear more muscle fibers, build more muscle. We're almost there. Here we go, last couple seconds. Five, four, three, two, Last one. All right, I'm fired up already. You'll notice that it's actually harder to do more reps slow than they are to do them fast. That's because there's way less quality contraction when you do them fast and getting little results for a lot of reps. And moving on to the next exercise, tricep extensions. If this is too difficult to do it on the floor, you can always do this on an elevated surface. If you want your body straight, you wanna push forward and down, down and forward. Really control this. If this is too difficult, you can always try going down as slow as you can, coming one up at a time, coming down as slow as you can again, and alternate. Eventually, you'll be able to come down and up. Make sure your core is tight and your butt's not drooping. We're almost there. Last couple seconds. Five, four, three, Two and one. 
All right, we're ready to move on to the next tricep exercise, dips, which is gonna emphasize on your chest as well. Chest and triceps are supporting muscle groups, so they're often gonna be engaged at the same time. So doing them back to back is gonna increase our overload and give us more gains. And that's why I put shoulders in the middle because shoulders are being worked whether you're using the front or the back of your body. So let's get into these dips. If this is too difficult, you can always do bench dips. That's gonna reduce the amount of body weight, allowing you to train the exercise and even do more reps. Almost there. Every time you get to the top, try to put all your weight onto your triceps. Squeeze them as hard as you can. Last couple seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, there we have it for the upper body. Next, we're gonna be emphasizing on our lower body, starting off with quads, with dumbbell squats. And even when you're training squats, you're still engaging the rest of your muscles in your legs because they're also supporting muscle groups. Now you could do this move holding one dumbbell in the middle or just do it body weight. Let's get down. Up, keep your back straight, core tight. Remember, pace yourself. Almost there. Last couple seconds. Three, two, last one. All right, there we have it. First move for our legs. Next exercise is gonna be dumbbell sumo squats for our quads, as well as the rest of the surrounding muscle groups. Take a wide stance, come all the way down, come right back up. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your legs every time you come down and every time you come up. Keep a solid contraction throughout the entire range of motion. Couple reps. Three, two, last one. All right. Perfect. Next exercise, we're going to emphasize on our glutes with elevated single leg squats. All right, let's get into position. Bring one foot elevated. You're going to come down on the opposing leg. If this is too difficult, you can always do this with your foot on the ground. It's gonna make it a lot easier. Of course, with your foot elevated, you're putting a lot more overload onto your opposing leg. Remember, squeeze. Three, two, last one. One, switch, 20 seconds on the other leg. Three, two, last one. All right, we're almost done. This next exercise coming up is gonna kill our glutes, quads, hamstrings, even our calves with dumbbell back and forth lunges. We're gonna go for 20 seconds on each leg. If this is too difficult, you can always do it just body weight. Let's go ahead and take one step, come back to the center and take a back step. Just doing the right foot first. Now you notice I always pause right here just to regain my balance. Come right back, right into the step if you're more advanced. All right, switch legs, step. Work slow, controlled. Squeeze your grip, squeeze your core. 
regulate your breathing. We're almost there. Three, two, one. All right. We just have calves and abs. And then we've already smashed our workout routine for the day. So let's move on to calves, weighted calf raises. We're gonna do 20 seconds with our feet open. And then after we'll do 20 seconds with our feet together. You wanna keep your core tight. Squeeze the grip. Make sure these are slow and controlled. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's bring them closer. Squeeze your core, squeeze your calves, regulate your breathing. Last couple seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right. Whew, we are almost done. Now it's time to burn out the rest of this routine, killing our abdominals. The next exercise we're gonna be getting into is gonna be jumping jacks. Which is gonna finish off our calves and get our abs fired up. Let's go for it. You want to start giving it everything you got right now. These are the last couple exercises. You want to make every single one count. We're almost there. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, let's get it down to the floor. Next exercise for our abs is gonna be dumbbell sit-ups. Go ahead and grab a dumbbell and lay on the ground. We're gonna grab our dumbbell, hold it right above us, go for a sit-up, come right back down, nice and controlled. Of course, if this is too difficult, you can always do it without the dumbbell. But using this dumbbell is gonna create more of an overload on your abdominals. Make them stronger, make them more defined, and pop out a lot more as well. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and flip over. The next abdominal exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be plank. This is gonna be something like an active rest while still shredding your abs and your shoulders. Let's go ahead, we'll push a position, get down into a plank. We're gonna hold this, squeezing our core, squeezing our shoulders, breathe. Make sure you have perfect form. You don't want your hips too low or too high. Keep it up, we're almost there. We just have three more exercises after this. Here we go, last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be another plank variation, reverse planks, working our antagonist muscle groups. So let's go ahead and get into the reverse position of a plank. You wanna make sure to be pushing your palms down into the ground, raising your hips up, and you wanna hold this position for 40 seconds. Breathe. More than halfway there. Last 10 seconds. 
five, four, three, two, and one. We've been using our abdominals for every single exercise, this whole list. Now these last two exercises, we're really gonna kill it. This exercise is gonna be laying leg raises. Let's get into a laying position. Hands underneath us, legs straight out, squeeze the core all the way up, all the way down. Controlled, perfect form. You want to keep your legs as straight as possible. That's going to help engage more of your core. More than halfway there. These are the last ones. Give it everything you got. Last 10 seconds. Five. Last one. All right, Whew. we just have one last exercise to go, so hang in there. The last exercise, we're gonna completely burn out our abdominals and the rest of our body with bicycles. So I want you to give it everything you got for this last one. Let's get into position. Knee to elbow. Let's go for it. You wanna really twist your abdominals. Make sure you're working your obliques. This is one move I've been doing since 2010. One of the most effective abdominal exercises. We're more than halfway there. I want you to give it everything you got. Completely extend your leg. Last couple seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, push it. Two, one. All right, there we have it, drenched in sweat, have a crazy pump, my abs and every muscle group in my body is on fire. In just 20 minutes with two chairs, a set of dumbbells or anything you can find around your house, your own body weight and the right routine, that's all you need to get in the best shape of your life. Remember, not every workout out there is designed and structured the same with the same goals. So make sure to not just train hard, but train smart. Two people could be training for a full entire year and have two completely different results. So with that said, if this workout helped you and you enjoyed the workout routine, then definitely smash that like button. We really appreciate you doing so. It allows YouTube to recommend our videos to more people. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about and share this video with a friend that needs a 20 minute full body workout routine that they can pretty much do anywhere to get them the ultimate physique. And don't forget to get this workout on your phone and full access to all our workout programs. Download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world using our programs every single day to get shredded and take their training to the next level. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some Thenx gear. We also just restocked on all the weight vests, including the black weight vests. Go ahead and check them out at chrisharia.com and get yours right now before we're all sold out again, especially if you want the black weight vest, you know we're always sold out of that one. And while you're on chrisharia.com, be sure to check out the brand new Harrier collection. A lot of the pieces from the collection you've seen in previous YouTube videos, like the white track pants, black track pants, camo wink breakers, and even the shorts that I'm wearing right now. Go check out the entire collection at chrisharia.com. For more of my content, make sure you're following my vlog channel. That's youtube.com slash chrisharia. I post every Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. Every post, I do a giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me on IG and YouTube. And with that said, I'll see you next Sunday. 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.